Just a few months ago, they were on top of the world. A local junior league team bringing home a national championship and winning the recognition of the entire community. But now, it's lights out. The team, victim of a crime. Their field vandalized. Tonight, how the community is now rallying behind them. Chris 6 News at 10 starts now. This is Chris 6 News at 10. Good evening and thank you so much for staying up with us tonight. I'm Pat Simon. The Oil Belt Junior League is coming off a tremendous season when their team was named national champions. And as teams prepare for another great season, training for some has come to a halt after a field was vandalized. Iran Hammy leads us off tonight. He tells us what happened and how community support has helped them out. Players have been coming out to the Oil Belt Little League fields to stay in shape and get ready for their upcoming season. So when they showed up for practice one day and the lights wouldn't turn on, they were stumped and they didn't find out why until the next day. It's definitely, you know, one of those things that you're like, God, why does this happen and why do people do things like this? AEP came to the Oil Belt Little League fields on Friday and found the lines were cut and copper wire had been stolen to the lights of the softball field. Although there are several baseball fields, that was the only field vandalized. Well, it definitely takes a toll on the whole league and, it, you know, it's it's sad. It's, it's, it's makes you, it just irritates the crud out of you because we're, you know, we, we, it's all based on the community help. It was, you know, right in the middle of us, you know, starting to do the right things and the right move, you know, one step forward, two step forward, and then it's like, oh, here, here's a knockdown. The Oil Belt Little League is a nonprofit and relies on fundraising and community support to get by. Fortunate for them, they are getting support from Rodney Uhlenfeld with Extreme Electric. He's promised to come out, fix the light poles at no cost to the league. Definitely grateful because it lets us continue to better the ballpark in other ways that we, that we need to. One of those ways they were looking forward to fixing the park up was by building shade structures over the bleachers. Although they can still get that done and don't have to reallocate money, security will have to come first. We are in talks right now of getting some cameras going out here. Um, we have some phone calls out to AEP to get some more security lights possibly out here and a couple of different areas. Rain has delayed work being done to fix the lights, but the hope is to have everything up and running this week. The Oil Belt Little League was not the only one vandalized. Right next door at the NWCC Little Miss kickball fields, they too also had their lighting system vandalized. To learn how you can help the Oil Belt Little League, you can head to ChrisTV.com. Reporting in Annaville, Iran Hammy, Chris 6 News.